Hi! Welcome to Journey with Jenny. So today's video, I'm going to be doing a little bit review of Marathon, the ultimate training guide of ice plans and programs for half and full marathons by Hal Higdon. This is um, the running coach that I have done my training plans through for my last few marathons. So I'm finally reading his book, which I'm really thoroughly enjoying. And I'm going to be talking to you about chapter two, learning to love running. The journey is part of the reward. So um, if you are thinking of running your first marathon or just, you know, yeah, running a marathon, um, obviously you must want to run for some reason and hopefully you learn to love running so for me i was really lucky that in high school i found out about track and i actually really enjoyed running track for me running was like a very therapeutic thing to do and i just enjoyed um going to track after school and then i was a middle distance runner and i just running was very ther therapeutic and um better than whatever else I could have been doing, like watching TV at home. So anyways, um, what I want to share from this is a couple of quotes that I really liked. Um, so the challenge, why is marathon running? So um, why does it have so much weight, right? Why do we put so much emphasis on it? Um, and basically um, here, um, Autumn Evans from Melbourne Beach, Florida says, the marathon provides a goal and incentive of focus. Without the marathon, there's less reason to get out and train hard. Yes, one should exercise for one's health, but good health is often taken for granted. Thus, we don't always do what we know we should. So running is a great form of exercise for people. And, you know, if we just say, okay, start running, a lot of people can't get themselves motivated to get out there and actually start running. So when you have something like a marathon and then you have um, a training plan that's an 18-week training plan, plan then you know you have to start training for this big event and it gives you something to work towards so that's why whether you want to sign up for a 5k a 10k a half marathon or a full marathon it's a great way for there to give a purpose to your running in addition to just it being um something for your good health um and here it says completing a marathon, however, provides material reward. So usually you get a shirt. So this is from the New York Marathon uh, from ASICS after I ran that one. A medal, a certificate, and one's name in lights or at least the results in the booklet or online. You know, you have your finish times. In addition to the tangible benefits, the race itself offers entertainment. Oh, sorry, this lighting. Starting with... Um, the, the expo and ending with the finish line festivities. There's a feeling of com camaraderie in the back of the pack that isn't present in many sports. Runners take care of each other, encourage each other, push each other. It's competition, but competition with oneself. And imaginative spectators post signs that bring smiles to the faces of weary runners. Or like there's performances and there's all these people cheering people on. Venturesome athletes run in hilarious costumes and before and during and after the event, race shirts or limping gates or overheard discussions cause total strangers to strike up conversations. So... Um, you know, this is all really great descriptions of what the process of marathon running is. You know, it's such a big event. Um, some of the big ones that I ran, like um, New York and Berlin and um, even the smaller ones like Queenstown and Marrakech, there's thousands and tens of thousands of runners. So there's all these people, the collective energy. Everybody has a, a, a different and unique but somewhat similar experience in the preparation or training for it. So it's really like there's a lot to just strike up a conversation with like-minded people around you, you know, there's something that you guys can have in common because as runners, we're going to have similar aches and pains and, you know, um, hopefully like nutrition and um, what doctors we went to and what running groups we were a part of or what routes we ran. There's all, there are all these different things that we can discuss and talk about. Um, and here... Um, Though she has completed dozens of marathons, Melissa Vetrisek from Tampa, Florida has only begun to understand the event. So even if you've done dozens, wow, so over like at least 20, 30 maybe, 
I'm still learning, she says, but I consider the marathon itself more enjoyable than the training. Some training runs are fun, but other training runs, let's be honest, are not fun. You struggle through them because you see the carrot dangling before your eyes. The marathon is something I look forward to with eager anticipation and with each training run. It's hard not to when each run has a specific distance and effort level with all the purpose of preparing me to cover 26.2 miles as quickly as I can on race day. I guess I'm just such a goal-oriented person that only after I reach the goal and I am I able to relax and enjoy what I accomplished, then it's time to set a new goal all over again. So here it was the journey that transformed me. The marathon was the reward. So here are just different quotes from different marathon runners that Hal has, you know, interviewed or surveyed. And um, this one I really related to. So Dave Dwyer from Madison, Wisconsin says, I'm just going to show it to you briefly. Basically, he says, it's hard to beat the excitement, the actual physical thrill, the relief and joy and pride. I'm going to show this because running for me is so healing. So I'm going to put this in here. Um, it's hard to beat the excitement, the actual physical thrill, the relief and joy and pride when you see the finish line in your first marathon and can say, I'm a marathoner. It is hard to beat the anticipation of the night before, the jumbo of pleasure, the morning of the event, and the thrill that rolls down your spine when you hear the starting gun. People haven't even begun to move forward and already they're crying. So um, it's definitely one of those things where you've been training for weeks and weeks and weeks and months and months and months. And you finally get to the day and this is it. However you do this day, throw it all away. It doesn't even matter. You made it to the, fin like, to the start line. And as long as you just one foot in front of the other you keep going you make it to the finish line like the battle is already won by the time you get there so I remember crying at the end of my first marathon I just fell to the ground and collapsed and just started wailing and it was such a relief and I just will never forget that feeling that I had was like wow I did this like I ran 26.2 miles I could literally do anything uh anything in the world so running for me is super healing this is the card that I pulled today healing the heart um from my oracle card readings oops <laughs> so um here the run itself kind of melts along with other training runs which have their moments too. It is a journey, a long distance of revelation of self, of accomplish, accomplishment, of failure, of goals met and those still ahead. After all, the medal is only the icing on the cake. It is the inner warmth of the accomplishment that remains with you, medal or not. And um, what I like about like all these different um marathon runners sharing like their perspectives and key takeaways and what why it's a challenge and like what you know what they've learned from it um here it says amber balbier of dallas texas says i just plain love to run and i'm happiest when my training is at its peak i enjoy the spice that the advanced training plan has to offer incorporating different types of running tapering nerves nutrition and the stress of the marathon make me crazy one wrong move bad day or bad weather and the time goes out the window and all that said the mystique of the marathon keeps me coming back for more marathoning is an art as much as a science and I look forward to the day when everything comes together and I achieve the pitch perfect performance I live for that day and yeah I think um here like the final one um or the final few so Seth Harrison also a New Yorker New York marathon was my first official marathon I'll talk more about that in a future video but um, Seth Harrison claims, while running marathons is my ultimate reward for all the training, there's nothing quite like structuring 18 weeks of my life around a marathon training cycle. There's an electricity that I can't quite put my feeling on during those that I feel during those weeks. And as I check off each daily workout and then each week of the training cycle, the anticipation and that electricity builds and builds. Nothing compares to standing at the starting line than using all that training for its intended purpose and ultimately crossing the finishing line with a sense of accomplishment that defies words. Um, 
Vancouver from Cairo, Nebraska says, the satisfaction when it is over and have finished another 26.2 is amazing. So that's the lure that attracts us all to the marathon. Um, so I hope that this video in some ways helps you um, like fall in love with running, um, have a desire to run your first or next marathon um, please comment below have you run a marathon before uh, and if you have what tips do you have and if you haven't what's stopping you what would help you run your first marathon if you're interested in running your first marathon please comment below dm me i am starting um, a running group for first-time marathon runners it's still very nascent in its beginning i haven't really put it together yet but i really want to support first-time marathon runners because I just remember what it was like for me and honestly it has been difficult training again um, running in my 30s is really different from running in my 20s so I am reading this book and just really doing physical therapy understanding about injuries um, just everything that I've learned so far I am putting into this six marathon so I'm going to post that below too my fundraiser for my six marathon if you want to support me if you got any value out of this even five dollars would be greatly appreciated any contributions will always help so thanks so much hope you enjoyed this video like it thumbs up um, and please feel free to share it and until next time mwah! happy running bye